I actually grew up in a Christian home, which was super cool. Um, always knew God from, I don't really, you know, like how some people have times when they, they go, oh yeah, I gave my life to the Lord. Like I literally grew up always knowing God from, I don't even know when the day, <laughs> the day or day or hour was. Um, and that was just like so incredible. Uh, and then it was part of the whole Soul Survivor movement in the UK. So every year would um, go to summer camp with thousands of thousands of other youth and just completely get blasted by God. And we just went back every year and would rededicate your life to the Lord because <laughs> you're just like, oh, I want to be, I want to be close to God again. And so that was my whole teenage years. I started to really, I guess my identity got challenged and I just started to look in other places to be accepted and started hanging out you know on the streets with people and they were great people but I just made some bad choices and I started to seek love in other ways so um, we'd end up in relationships get really hurt and burnt by that and then you just end up feeling rubbish about yourself and so you're like oh screw it I'm just gonna drink oh okay well rave scene rave scene was every weekend every single weekend and then you you try some drugs and you try this and then next minute like you're doing it all the time and you're sat there wondering how you've gone from this absolutely amazing life to just living this life where you go oh yeah on Wednesday we didn't do any drugs but through that whole time of um, selling drugs, doing drugs, um, there was a real, real, real deep emptiness in me. Um, and I was just known for things I, I wouldn't want to be known for just because I was seeking love from, from the wrong people. And I just carried on getting hurt, getting hurt. But I was just stuck in this whirlwind of, I guess, like abusing yourself because you feel like you're not worth anything. When you do the drugs and you get high, you feel great in that time, but your heart and your spirit are crying out for help. And there's a sorrow that just is so hard. <laughs> you know, it, it's so like, I felt like I was stuck in a cage. I felt like I was stuck doing all this stuff that wasn't part of my personality and wasn't who I was but I was doing it because it would bring comfort and obviously out of that came addiction. So I was dealing with addiction alongside longing to be in the presence of God, but not feeling good enough. Um, I had lost so much weight due to uh, my party lifestyle. I looked awful, I felt horrible um, and I knew that it wasn't who I was designed to be and I wanted to change. I cried out to God and I said, you've got to get me out of here. And within a few months, I was out of the UK. Like money came to me. Um, it was like one of those full God shifts, like you can cry out to God and next minute, you're like, you're the other side of the world. <laughs> and that's exactly what happened. I um, was living in France, Joseph, and I just remember feeling quite lost even though I was journeying you know trying to get my relationship back with God like I was still in a real stuck position and I remember just feeling insecure and rubbish and I was still drinking quite a bit and I just needed help from from God I really did and I was working in a backpacker bar and this guy walks in he just comes up and he goes hey you're a Christian and I was like uh said on a journey on a journey but like anyway he just sits at the bar this guy's just come out of nowhere and he's like hey I want to pray for you now bearing in mind I'd hit rock bottom and I needed help from the Lord I live in Franz Joseph which is on the west coast which is in the middle of nowhere <laughs> and a guy walks in it sounds like a joke but a guy walks into a bar and he just prays for me and he's like what do you want to do I was like I want to go to Nelson I want to get back into church next minute he's prayed for me my husband is working over in Indonesia on and off. And he's like, where do you want to live? Because I'm away, you know, you choose where we want to live. And I said, Nelson. 
So I came into Nelson, started at Stefano's Pizzeria. Start working there and this guy who had walked into the bar and Franz Joseph and prayed for me was sat at a table in Stefano's. And so I got up to him, I was like, no way. And he's like, hey, do you want to come to church? And I was like, I do, I really do. So when I came back to church, I just cried so much. And that was pretty much me for a really long time. Um, and it's funny, I even look at like what I used to wear, like everything just rep represented someone that was really broken. I was really broken when I came in here. Um, and so I, but I felt so relieved because for over 10 years had carried a feeling of being stuck in a cage but so wanting to be in a relationship with God where I was living a godly life. Like I wanted to be in a place that I knew in my heart and spirit felt good. And so to be back here, back in a place, back in church, and just knowing that I was on the right path was, was one of the biggest thrilling feelings I think I've ever felt in my life. I had missed being with Jesus. I had missed being in the presence of God. I'd missed having a relationship with him. And I was so relieved at the same time that I had got out of addiction. Um, it was something that had a huge hold on me. Feeling accepted by God is very different to feeling accepted by anything else. And I think it's a journey that takes years, understanding that it doesn't matter what you say or what you do, or who you are, the Father's heart is always for you. His love is so much more than we can even understand or gather or see, that he'll leave the 99 and go after the one. Like that's become pretty huge for my life. How God restores you so much blows my mind. <laughs> how you can be so far into addiction and so lost and so insecure and so empty and he can come along and step by step just walk life with you and pull you out of some of the darkest spaces you'll ever be in is just as overwhelming <laughs> is and now I get to go and do that with other people on the streets and I get to go and share the love of God and pray for them and see them healed and see them know that God sees them and chooses them is pretty amazing. <laughs> it's about restoration. He's about restoration, whether you are a Satanist or anything, God is about restoration. And I love that, that's my heart, is seeing people restored to who God's called them to be. And this is how it makes me feel. <laughs> so yeah.